वेलकम लर्नर माई नेम इज शिवाई देवनाथ इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी टॉक अबाउट टेल इन सी एस एस इंटीग्रेशन विथ एंगुलर जे एस फ्रेम इफ यू वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट दिस काइंड ऑफ साइट यू आई लाइक दिस आई टॉट अबाउट हाउ कैन इंटीग्रेट टेल इन सी एस एस एंड एंगुलर फ्रेम वर्क और एंगुलर क्रिएट ए बेसिक सिंपल एप्लीकेशन बट आफ्टर यूजिंग दिस लाइब्रेरी दिस टेक्सट एंड यू आई मे बी बेटर दैन दिस यू आई वॉट इज दिस टेल इन सी एस एस एक्चुअली टेल इन सी एस एस इज ए सी एस एस लाइब्रेरी एंड दिस टेल इन सी एस एस बिल्ड मॉडर्न वेबसाइट विदाउट लिविंग योर एस टेम एल वेन वी आर क्रिएट दिस काइंड ऑफ डिजाइन सो फॉर दैट पर्पज वी नीड टू बी राइट लॉर्ड्स ऑफ सी एस एस सिंटेक्सेस इन द सी एस एस फाइल बट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट दिस काइंड ऑफ यू आई यू आर वेरी अट्रेक्टिव यू आई सो दैट टाइम यू कैन यूज टेल इन सी एस एस आई ऑलरेडी सेट अप आवर एंगुलर एप्लीकेशन इन प्रिवियस ट्यूटोरियल आई आई डू नॉट कवर हाउ कैन सेट अप एंगुलर एप्लीकेशन एंड हाउ कैन क्रिएट इट आई जस्ट टॉट अबाउट हाउ कैन इंटीग्रेट द टेल इन सी एस फास्ट जस्ट आई कॉपी द लाइन एंड आफ्टर कॉपी दिस लाइन वी कैन इंस्टॉल इट डायरेक्टली दिस पैकेज आर एक्चुअली added here okay and after that we can create the tailwind configuration file like this and this time tailwind config.js this file are created and another things we can use the post css so this line can be uses after this so i just create here post css config.js we can create in our own project area and this is the post css configuration and this part copy from here we need to use this line for tailwind configurations so this is actually main path of our angular project and it is the source folder of our project so after this source folder we have html file and also we are using ts file also and if we are set up it properly after that we can copy it this three line for style.css here okay because this style.css have actually starting file of angular components or angular framework so for that purpose we can be use in this three things for the tailwind setup and after that we can be see how it looks like after set up all these things so now we can start the our environment development environment and after development environment we can see some dependency packages already set up here so now we can see the output so after using this package we got some changes and this changes not so look good because this looks are very flat and looks basically actually after using this tailwind css we could not get any look and feel after using this if you want to basic look and feel after setup tailwind css you can use another library which called daisy ui okay so this daisy ui also a another supportive library or plugins you can use it for your angular project so this is the setup process and we can set up it in our angular project so this is the very simplest way to set up it and after it set up we just require this line and as ui support link are required for the test config and this is the requirement process so we can set up it here and after setup we can start the process so let's see after this setup okay so after this setup we can see it slightly looks different means when we are start before so at that time css tailwind css are applied but color and design not be applied properly but this time it's applied for background color is a darker tone that means my system is currently in dark mode because i am recording this video in night time so for that purpose actually changing the background color after installing daisy ui okay uh, how can create the class component or the things so basically when we are actually creating any buttons or any type of components so that time we are actually using the tailwind css class name like this because if we are actually modifying this class so that time we can using the class property like here we can use some 
text for excel like that and also bold we can do it after uh, using this our h1 text are seen looks better okay and after that we can also use here some class here and after that we can use the input field looks like this so after using this it looks better and also if we are create the button so after this we can create the button and also can use the busy color primary like this and this is the actually a button color and also this is CCO and DROI secondary so this two type of color components are already here and after using this quite good looking after using these things okay but when we are want to get it center of this page so then we can use some class after that cut from here and we can also set up it in this part when we are using the container class actually container class is the centralized class where we can align our content into the container class and this container class actually uses in the bootstrap library also so this is almost same but here have some difference when we are using the container so container already affected here but it does not centralize the whole thing so after using this container after that we can set up it mx auto and when i create mx auto after that you can see here have some space so this is actually thing and if we want to see in it how long it's are spread so after that we can use the hr line and this hr line uh, from here to here we can get a straight line and after that we want some tiling too much better so after that we can use my and here we can use 16 pixel for the margin top and margin bottom are 16 pixel are set up using this and if you want more than this so after that it's a little bit bigger space when you are using this also here you can put some top space so empty two or three so after this we can get some top space from here but we can set up it another way that means it is the inline setup we are creating multiple component or multiple classes actually this called components so this is actually a component or utility class like when we are actually using tailwind css so this tailwind css classes can be merged a single class so how can do that so if you want to use it as a header tag or h1 tag so i don't want to use like this okay after this after removing this styler resetting here but here we can use h1 tag here and after that we are using apply syntax this apply syntax comes from tailwind css so if we are using the tailwind css and we are applying these classes for the h1 tag after using this we can see this this class says specifications set up for h1 tag so you already seen the details and after that we can inspect the element and so uh, here is the element and this is the element key and after this elements are generated and our CSS are generated so after this we are not getting any class name we are actually getting only properties which actually required for this HTML element okay it is the very nice thing when we are actually create any design now i want to see the pop-up and this is the pop-up i have no style so we need to here we can get some modification and we can cut from here and also we are using some alert functionalities and when we are create a alert so alert may be already implemented because we are actually added in the daisy ui so i think alert already implemented so here is the alert component and here have alert and after that we can see an alert message like this so i think when i actually use the alert so i think already we have alert and specifications or alert css design already here so like we just simply here and yes we actually seen it alert message okay now i have speed up this code because already i explained about the tailwind css classes how can be used in our project so you can understand which actually write on this code and 
if you have any understanding issue or you want to write this code in this video so you can also stop this video to understanding the code and if you want to learn about this in detail so i will be put the article in the description box you can see the article of this video tutorial and there you can get the whole code about this video So this is actually basic things are uh, implementing with the Tailwind CSS. So if you want to know about Tailwind CSS modification and how can design and modify our components using Angular and, and Tailwind CSS. So if you want to know more about this topic, so comment on this video and if I get more than 10 likes on this video, I definitely make another video on this topic. So I think you can enjoy in this learning video and if you like this video uh, hit the like button and if you are new in my youtube channel so definitely subscribe my youtube channel and share with your friends and community grow this youtube channel and help me grow and also if you have any suggestions and anything you want to know so ask me in the comment section i try to answer you definitely and we will be meet with you next video